What's up guys and welcome back to another video. My name's Chris from No Superstars and this is Jared from Larrikins and we're gonna be doing a 2020 update video for you guys. Let's kick it off. What are your plans for 2020, Chris? What are your goals and your main ideas that you wanna try and achieve? Is YouTube related, race car related, events that you wanna try and do, stuff that you wanna try and do to the car build wise? What do you got planned? To be honest, man, I just wanna do as much as humanly possible. I wanna to get to all the drift competitions this year in WA, maybe take it uh, over east if possible. Yeah. So we can tee something up with some sponsors maybe for later in the year. Yeah. The 180 is nearly finished. There's only a little bit more I need to do to that car. Is it ever really finished though? It isn't, however, I'm gonna to get to a point where I'm happy and I just wanna drive it while focusing on building my new S13 drift car. From a YouTube perspective, I'm making at least one video per week, every week this year. So hopefully that's gonna push my filming and editing skills and get as much content out there and just give back to all my sponsors. You being one of them from Bridgestone Cannington. Down here at the workshop. Um, you help me out absolutely everywhere you can. So I'm very thankful for that. And we're just gonna try and push and build each other's businesses up and help each other out where we can. So from a merchandise perspective, we're gonna be doing lots of t-shirts and stickers. That's something Both that everyone- Both gonna be doing that, aren't we? We're gonna exactly. help each other out. Later in the year, we're definitely gonna be doing a collab shirt. So that's something we're gonna something work we on to try and do. See how they take off first, if, if people like it enough. We'll jump on board, help each other more out like we already do. Yep, 100%. With the shirts. So I've had a bit of a background making some shirts in the past. Yeah, because that's right, you, you had a... Uh, I did have a little bit of a small line, clothing line at one point, which took off a little bit, didn't really go anywhere. But that's it, man. It's all part of the process. It's a learning curve. And now that's sort of prepared you for this next that's journey it. that we're going to be heading towards. Things that well. I've learned along the way. It's just going to make everything a lot easier for me being able to rely on you that's and it. you can just pump well, it out. Well, not rely on me, but... Learn from, from words, learn words from. and wisdom and pointers along the way. Exactly. Yeah. As you have with myself on this YouTube adventure, which I started out not knowing a f***ing thing. Um, Chris has definitely given me a lot of pointers along the way and, and advice on how he does things and, and how I should probably do things. Um, we obviously don't agree with everything, but that's part of it. We all have our own way of doing things. So. And that's, that's the best part, man. Is everyone brings their own uniqueness to the table because if we're all making videos exactly the same, it just be clones on YouTube, and yeah, I think that's where a lot of people can stand out and do your own thing. Exactly, have a crack yeah. at it if you're unsure. And like what, what, what you've picked happen. up so far, man, is crazy. Like the fact that you've only done a couple of it. And what was it late last year? You were still saying, "Oh no, nah, I never want to put I, my face in front of I, the camera." I 100% said I never want to be on camera. I'm not comfortable with it at all. I'm still not comfortable. The, be the best part is they're two very different channels. Mine is sort of more focused on my career through drifting. Whereas Jared's is more or less on... I'll be doing a bit of everything. A bit of build stuff on the race car, if you've already seen. I like to get out there and get the action shots and action videos as well. I'll get down to some events that where Chris features and try and get some action shots of him. I've done some with the burnouts. I'd like to do a bit more of that. Obviously, yeah. I've got the buggy as well that I like to get out and film that sort of stuff. So I do a bit of everything, whatever we get up to. And the, I'll be there to film it. The, the guys down south really loved your content. They did. They, they have some that. good feedback. Went down to Katanning, did a bit of a video for... Mainly for my cousin when he's doing his burnout video. Um, filmed some of the other guys, had some good feedback, so I'm gonna try and get down to the next one uh, early this year, in the next month or so, and try and do a bit more of a video on that. All right, so fill us in on some more future plans for Larrikins and yourself. My plans for 2020, trying to do as many of these videos and this sort of stuff as I can, sitting down with people like Chris, maybe even visiting other people, going into stuff about their cars. Like some workshop tours. Trying to do some workshop tours. tours and some people tours. Gonna to try and get the car up to cam spec, like you've already seen in some of the videos. I'd like to do that so I can get out to more events. So I'm a bit limited. Uh, once I've got the exhaust and a few other bits and pieces buttoned up, I'll be able to get down to a lot more events. What type of events are you aiming to get I would to? like to do more of the rally sprint maybe time attack events, which I've already done a few of and I enjoy. Chris is trying to get me to come out and do a drift day here and there, which I might, I'll see how I go. I'm gonna make an absolute fool myself, but that's what it's about, having fun. And I'm sure Chris will be the man to give me some pointers on how to get this thing sideways. Oh, that's it, so, no less than the twin turbo. Well, you don't that's need it. what more do you need? Just yeah, that's it. Dump and steer, but yeah. As long as there's no concrete walls in my path, I should be all right. I'll just well, take them out and take them with me. Yeah. That's a good example of what not to do, so I'll just take his advice on board of what not to yeah, do. Just link Stay that away from the big here. solid grey lumps of concrete. Yeah, we'll link that one here or here, wherever you link yeah. it. It's probably up here, it depends where you decide. Depends where you're watching. You we'll link it up YouTube, here for you. Instagram, TikTok, we are on TikTok. Yeah. I've got one TikTok video. The same, zero subscribers. Mine keep getting taken down, I don't know. Yeah, because they're rude. 
Other plans for 2020, I'd like to get out in the buggy a bit more. Once I have a new tow car sorted out, I will be able to get out and about a bit more. We'll do a few more of those sorts of videos, do some adventure. I'm going to have to join you on this. going to have to take Chris along with us, do a bit of R&R, &R, time off the tools, go out and have some fun, see what we can do. And I can do some filming of you. And he time. can then film me. Yeah. Teach me how to use the drone, that'd be pretty cool. I'd like I can to teach you how to use the that. drone, I can teach you how to crash the drone. Yep, they're definitely. pretty good at that, done that more than I once. Penrite are jumping on board and gonna help me out. They already helped Chris out, but we are swapping over in the workshop, so I've had to talk to my guys at Penrite, and they're gonna look after us with the race car and all my needs, so you'll be seeing a bit more of that stuff on the car. Now it's got Castrol on there at the moment. It's gonna have to come off, sorry guys. Not that Castrol's a bad product, I've, I've used it for a couple of years now and cannot fault it at all. Um, but I'll be taking that off, I'll be doing something different with the car. I'll no doubt have to put larrikins on the side. No, I have to, I'm just gonna do it, I gotta rep my own brand. No doubt Chris is gonna have no superstar on his and yeah, do what you're gonna get do. some larrikin stickers 100%. Yeah, well, I'll put no superstar on mine as well. We help each other out, so be rude not to. Yep. Got some ideas and plans for merch, which you might have seen me wearing some of the larrikins shirts in some of the videos. Me and Chris have just gone in together to buy a whole bunch of them, try and keep costs down so we don't have to charge you guys a fortune. Nothing worse than spending 50 bucks on a shirt when you should be spending that money on car parts, let's be honest. Yeah. 100%. So we'll be doing that, some stickers of that, of that sort of stuff. But at the end of the day, we'll probably keep it simple. It's not a clothing brand, so we'll just do simple stuff to, to help you guys rep what we're doing. We'll do a collaboration, like Chris said earlier on, um, do a bit of a, a, a cross promotion like we are today. Yeah, and you know, as things grow, we'll obviously we're super keen and we're super involved in this process so as things grow you know if the youtube picks up or if anything picks up along the way obviously that's going to be more merch and more content for you guys at the end of the day we're not looking to make a fortune off shirts and merch and that sort of stuff it just helps us make more content and cool stuff for you guys to watch any little bit helps like i said we don't want to charge a fortune for this sort of stuff it's just to get the name out there and support what we're doing I'll be buying a shirt off Chris. I'm not going to say give me a shirt. I'll be buying one. I'll buy one full price. I don't have a problem because I know that it's going to support him and what he's doing. I love watching his videos and if he can make more of it and I can help, then so be it. Got something special in plan. Chris will fill you in a bit more. Got something really big planned where myself and a couple of other drivers are going to be doing something very top secret at the moment. And Jared's going to be down there and he's going to be capturing it from the outside's perspective with his drones. I'll be trying to swing on some GoPros, do whatever I can get. GoPros everywhere is going to be sick. Obviously, we can't tell you guys a lot about this at the moment because it's all top secret, but you're definitely going to be wanting to check this one out. I think it'll be one for the history books. Well, who uh, reads books anymore? It'll be one for the history videos. Unless we get arrested. Well, I'm not getting arrested. Well, there's a chance we could all get arrested. There is a chance. All, there's always a chance. You could drive out here and get arrested. I don't know. <laughs> Let's hope not. Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, touch wood. <laughs> All right, so fill us in on some more future plans for Larrikins and yourself. I'm going to try and do a video a week if I can. I do work full time and stuff does get hectic. Sometimes it might just be a shorter video. Sometimes it's a bit longer. Depends what I'm up to, what I've got going on in the car. Depends what events are around. Sometimes those event videos take a while to put together. Uh, I'll at least try and have a short one or a little bit of an update, whether it's just a couple of minutes long to see what we're up to. I'm sure Chris finds the same thing and he yeah. has to do that, yeah. 100%. And it depends what you guys really want to see. So like, we, we thoroughly enjoy making videos. It's like a real good creative aspect. And at the end of the day, we sort of want to work with our audience, um, with what you guys want to see, what you guys might not be seeing on social media. Obviously, there's a lot of people doing this kind of stuff now, so we've got to find that little niche to stand out from the crowd. So it really depends on what you guys want to see. So let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching guys, that about wraps it up. I'm gonna link Jared's YouTube channel in the description below, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow all his adventures throughout the year. I'll be doing the same, I'll be putting Chris's link in the description there. Make sure you check him out, follow what he's up to. He's got a lot more videos than I have, a lot more content, a lot of interesting stuff, so get over and check it out, give him a like and a subscribe, that way you don't miss anything.